Thank you for joining us on Valley News Live. And as we close out our Tuesday, it was another terrific day. Your current conditions right now showing just a few high clouds left in the FM area. We have clouds to the north of us, clouds to the south of us, but very quiet conditions throughout the wind fair. And we do have temperatures still in the 60s, mid 60s at Moorheads Airport, 63 at Hector. The wind calm. Dew points are in the 30s, which means that air is dry. Relative humidity 40%. So we head into the nighttime hours. We have, again, quiet conditions for most of us. Out to the west, some good and beneficial rain out in the southwestern quadrant of North Dakota where things have been dry. We do have some showers and a few rumbles of thunder that are exiting portions and diminishing across portions of central South Dakota. Severe weather from Des Moines to the south and west, south of Omaha, and making its way into the northern reaches of Kansas right now. Active tornado and thunderstorm warnings, mainly along the border with Kansas as we take a look at your temperatures now. 61 Thief River Falls, Roseau 57, 62 in Jamestown. Right now, Sisseton has 66 degrees and cool 50s in Wadena. And as we look in on Park Rapids, the weather there, 58 degrees, a little cooler off to your east. And well, pretty cool view here. As I back out, you can take a look what Nancy saw wandering on the other side of the yard here out in that Park Rapids area today. Here he comes, lumbering along. That's not a kitty. Again, uh, barely, barely any weather to be concerned about as we head into the evening hours. So a look at your forecast. Overnight, we are going to see mainly quiet conditions. Can't rule out a spotty sprinkle, but by and large, it's going to be uh, pretty calm and quiet and mild. Temperatures near 50 to 55 to start your Wednesday. As we go through the day, that midday will provide plenty of sunshine. The wind out of the north again. That is a dry flow out of Canada. That's going to keep the lower atmosphere fairly dry. So any raindrops that do form here or thunder showers in the afternoon hit a miss variety. Again, just like today, raindrops will have to fall through a lot of dry air. A lot of times they evaporate before they ever make their way down to the ground. But one or two of these, if they do indeed combined with some thunder, could be well briefly heavy as they pass through. Again, mainly missing most areas. Temperatures back to where we were today. We'll see a lot of 70s again, including in the FM area. 51 first thing in the morning. Check out these temperatures in the afternoon, soaring all the way into those mid 70s briefly. And then we stay in the 70s through sunset. We'll see some clouds in the afternoon and the possibility of a renegade shower, but it shouldn't last long if your plans are taking you outdoors. Beautiful calm sunset here at the Franklin Lake area. Thanks, Tim, for sharing this beautiful shot. You can upload yours at valleynewslive.com. More of the same as we climb from the mid 70s to the upper 70s by the time we get to Friday. Each and every day will bring a slight chance of an isolated shower. Again, Fargo may see it, but more likely that we won't. Now, as we head into the weekend, we'll see a few more spotty thunder showers, maybe scattered in nature Saturday, but the best chance, a few of us Sunday night and into Monday, I'll see storms. Now, Monday's storms that form in the afternoon could be strong. We'll keep our eyes on that, but look at these temperatures, 80 to 85, maybe close to 90 for some, as we head into some summer-like weather on the 13th of June for your lucky Monday summer-like weather forecast. Looking great. Yeah, it looks good. It's a good weekend.